season, you guys had a lot of underclassmen working their way up into bigger roles than they may have anticipated that early on in their career. Talk about going into this year, those guys having another year under their belt, just what you're expecting. Um, you know, we didn't lose a lot when you talk about seniors leaving. Um, just a few guys, a couple of our playmakers, but um, we got a lot of young guys that are coming up. They're sophomores and juniors this year. They're going to see a lot of playing time. I think typically for us, um, our guys are, they get a hold of the scheme pretty well. Um, they know what to do, how to do it. Um, and they work hard every day. So I don't think there's going to be an issue with some of the younger guys getting more playing time. Um, this is the most guys I've ever had on a roster here at Tolton. Uh, my first year we had 17, now we have close to 50. So um, that's pretty good for us here. Yeah, I remember last year when I talked to you, you said you were recruiting guys out of the hallway. Yeah. A little bit more of that yeah. happening. Yeah, and actually what happened, we only lost two games last year, or two regular season games, that is. Um, and uh, when you win, it's, you know, football becomes more popular by winning football games. So. Um, and that's what we did. We did a good job, and we threw the ball around a lot. We ran pretty well, um, and then more guys came out. It's funny. We have maybe three more players that are were in the school that didn't that never played football again this year. So and those guys will play for us. They're juniors and seniors. So um, I think it'll be interesting to see how, how it all turns out. With such a big group returning, just what does that do for your culture going into your sixth season here? Um, you know, I, I, that's exactly that. Yeah, the culture gets it gets built up and actually becomes more popular in the school. Um, you have a lot more support from the parents and the boosters and everybody. So um, it's so important to win games, and um, that's going to keep the you know the roster numbers up and um, help us out a lot. Obviously, returning your starting quarterback, a lot of weapons that he had on the mm -hmm. offense. Also, just what is it going to be like to have another year with the offense pretty much looking mm -hmm. pretty similar? Yeah, I mean, our guys can play. Um, our quarterback can really whip it. Um, we got receivers that can catch the ball. Uh, all of our uh, linemen are returning, so um, it's going to be an interesting year for us. Yeah, having such success last season, just what did you walk away from that mm -hmm. season thinking? Um, you know, I kind of thought that we would have, you know, I knew who was returning. Um, of course, we are going to miss the seniors that, that left us. Uh, one of our biggest playmaker, playmakers is no longer here. Um, but... Uh, you know, I thought I had a positive outlook for the season. You mentioned just the excitement for more guys coming out, but just the excitement from the crowd last year when you guys started winning a few of those games. What was that like for the team to see? Oh, they were pumped. You know, some of the guys that are seniors this year were here when we weren't winning any games. You know, we had two seasons where we had zero wins, uh, or actually one season where we had zero wins. The next season we had one. But um, you know, it's a whole nother it's a whole nother element when you have winning seasons. So. Yeah, having that success last season, just what are you guys hoping to build upon that and what are some goals mm -hmm. that you've set for this upcoming year? Well, we like to have more postseason wins for sure. We ended up losing the first game of the playoffs last year to a good team, North Callaway. Um, you know, credit goes to them. They played well. Um, but for us, that's what we want to be. We want to be able to play longer in the postseason. Having these summer practices, anybody in particular surprise you? Any position groups in particular that you think may be a little bit stronger this year? Well, I'll tell you, our linemen are really kicking it in, um, both offensively and defensively. I think we're probably more physical than we've ever been, um, which is good for us, you know. Um, we were always undersized. We're always undersized. No matter who we play, we're always smaller than the, t the opposing team. Um, but this is the most physical I've seen them, at least. How important, you know, is this next few weeks leading up to the season, just in preparation, just honing things in, just how important is it? It's huge. You know, this is when you had dial it in, because all summer long you're running all kinds of routes and all kinds of run plays, and now you're kind of, we start dialing it in. Um, you know, we're just right around the corner, here it is. So um, I think the guys are ready, though. You know, they're prepared to, they're prepared to play. They've been physical all week long. Um, we got a couple more days of the summer, and then we'll take our dead week. Um, and then we're going to come back pretty strong, I think.